Tonight at 6, we explain the surge in curiosity online about neurodivergency, which at its most basic means people who have a different way of thinking than the typical process, according to one behavioral health clinic psychologist. News Channel 7's Hannah Borker joined a class in Tomahawk made specifically for neurodivergent people. She gives us a peek at how it improves mental health for students and allows them to connect with a larger community. Islands of Brilliance is working hard to raise autism awareness. The program focuses on providing resources to rural communities. The group meets weekly to work on art projects and build community and confidence for participants. I spoke to two twin brothers using the class to expand on their digital art creativity and share it online. Oh my God. <laughs> hey guys, Colin here. Hey guys, Clayton here from our channel called Team Krieger. I am a digital artist and I'm also a gamer. Like I play games at home and I'm also a YouTuber. Colin and Clayton are twin brothers with autism who've been making YouTube videos together since they were 11. Still at age 26, their bond thrives. Yeah, you could say we are best friends. Together, they take part in a class each week that helps them build on that artistic creativity. This is like a, an autistic artist place that teaches all of our artists like digital art or arts and crafts. So do you really have some uh, unbelievable talents. Deb Wall has been teaching special ed for nearly four decades. And while she's recently retired, she has a passion for helping. So she continues this class to help beyond it. Be accepted in their community, um, to be thriving citizens, to feel good about themselves. Students come together each week to learn and socialize. Because sometimes I think the social aspect is is missing in, in their lives. Some friends that care about me a lot and it just lets me keep going. Each bringing a unique perspective to the table. All really different, but they form a community together. Often branching out. Right now, they're decorating coffee sleeves for Rise, a coffee shop there. The owner of the coffee shop has brought up how it just <coughs> brightens people's day in the morning, that they'll have a sticker or a note to them. and. Um, so it's, it's another way to just bring something to the community. Raising awareness and acceptance, which Dr. Brian Weiland with Behavioral Health Clinic says is important for mental health. It's not that people who have different ways of thinking are broken or need to be fixed, but more that their differences uh, can be celebrated and accepted um, and understood, and then that is going to lead to more positive mental health. Dr. Weiland says there's been a major shift in the last decade in how society sees and treats people with different minds. Majorly because of uh, social media and how um, accessible it is to access content put out by neurodivergent folks and so it can be a real positive thing in a lot of ways. Um, on the other hand, I think that we still have a long way to go. It's about me turning to my alter ego. I do draw my own stories and my own character. The digital art creates a life-changing difference for the Krieger brothers. We are Team Krieger, let's go! The twins have more than 900 followers on their YouTube account and tell me it helped them create new connections with people beyond their own community, online, and across the world. If you want to learn more about the Islands of Brilliance program, we'll have a link on our website, WSAW.com.